I played in multiple bands and then I was a regular wedding drummer. So I'd play a lot of covers and I'd play at weddings, you know, on the weekends and this was to make money to support myself but especially support my G-flip dreams. Mm. So all this money was all going towards me buying an interface to record my G-flip music and to buy monitors and to buy studio gear. And I made a lot of demos in my bedroom and then I sent them out to a lot of producers in the music industry. A lot of them didn't reply back to me or, you know, said, you know, this isn't the right fit or the schedule's too busy. So then I really was on my own and I made the decision, well, that's not going to stop me. I'm going to learn how to produce myself. So I gave myself a year to write as many songs as I could and then I made a short list of about 10. And on that list was nearly all the songs on my first album. And I remember I was cheeky and I made an Instagram account called That Blonde Drummer. And I knew that if I'm drumming every day, I can get a lot of followers. So I got about 20,000 followers from drumming every day in that year. And then I got the handle G Flip. <laughs> I switched out the handle to G Flip, started posting singing content. And I knew people in the music industry would be like, oh, 20,000 followers, better give the music a listen. It's very smart. I wanted to go at it so hard that if it didn't work, I could die knowing I tried really hard. Like mm. I did everything that I could to try and make this be my life. 